Uh, hi gamers, welcome back to Diablo 2 Resurrected. You're going from zero to ubers. It's a hardcore Javazon. We've got Rothmazon uh, just here. Level 82 Amazon. We're in hell difficulty. Currently in Act 4. It's the last episode. We made our way all the way from normal all the way into hell. Now we're on hell difficulty, of course. Um, just on the outer steps of the Pandemonium Fortress. So we're going to try and take on Diablo this episode. Uh, okay, these guys are immune to lightning. So let's try and avoid those. How tough are Venom Lords? The Venom Lords are quite tanky. So I haven't tried to come down here yet. What difficulty is this on? It seems like they're very strong. Difficulty one, okay. <laughs> uh, this might be a bit of a stretch. Uh, we'll give this a go. Uh, see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? Obviously, my Valkyrie and my Mercenary can do some damage. We, I do very little damage to things that are immune to lightning. We want to get out of this first area. Find Israel in the next area. Once we get to Israel, they now give us some more skill points. Should make us do slightly more damage. This is hell. Absolute hell. So many enemies shooting at me. Um, there's not much I can do against these guys firing lasers at me. Or firing lightning, they're not lasers. Uh, there's not much I can do against them, so I'm just going to have to run away. Uh, take out what I can. And hope that my mercenary can do a little bit of damage. At least hold them back. See, we can drop our... Nope, that's the wrong button. Can drop our Valkyrie. Oh, this is not good. Just pop, pop to town. So this is a bit of a, a, bit of a panic. <laughs> These ghosts are very annoying. Uh, but there's nothing we can do about them. We can't hit them. Uh, when we get cursed, we have to come back to town and heal up anyway. Grab more, more potions and we're just going to go again. This may be a bit of a grind, this video. We just need to get through. Once we get to Act 5, we can farm Eldritch and shank uh, and pindle skin as well because they're all non-lightning resistant um so we should be able to farm them and we should ideally get to cows at some point when we get to cows all our problems will go away but this is still one part of the issue uh so we will get through let's say we finish this on hell we then need to get the gear to go to ubers so let's although we're doing one challenge at a time we, can, we may finish this on hell difficulty we're still not out of the woods just yet we still need to finish this on uh, we still need to get the gear to take on the Ubers, and we still need to fight the Ubers. There's so many mobs here. All of these are lightning resistant. I can't touch any of these. Uh, but if we can find Israel, problem solved. We can probably, hopefully, take him out without taking too much damage. So I found Israel. Um, he's, uh, he's a bit surrounded by all these mobs, as you can probably tell. <laughs> um, I do do a lot of damage to him, but I don't think I've got the time to stop and hit him. Uh, without being decimated by all these ghosts. Can we get through? Ooh. So we are going to have to be very careful here. All these ghosts are going to actually destroy us. One more one more volley should do it. There you go. That's Israel down. Oh, that took out, all, that took out most of the ghosts in this area. Awesome. So we might be able to make it back through the portal. We'll just do a new one. We don't need that portal. So that's Israel down. One quest down in Act 4. This is... <laughs> this is quite stressful. Um, right, let's get some skill points into these. Hopefully we can max out these. We've got uh, 18, well, 17 more levels. That's 5 there, plus 3. Oh, okay, we might not get maxed um, skills, but that's fine. So we've gone straight into the River of Flame. And the first turn we had was straight to the Armourer. So it's going to be really useful. We've got to get this quest done nice and quick, nice and early. Let's lower his resistances. Uh, annoyingly, he actually took out my mercenary very quickly. He is actually very fast. Um, can we? How much damage can we do melee? Okay, we can do a lot of damage with him melee. He can do a lot of damage to us. All right, let's finish him off here. Okay, he's down. That was a bit risky. Bone weave boots. What are these? I don't know what these are. This might be our one of our first uniques in uh, hell. Main uniques. Marrow Walk Bone Weavers, Skeleton Mastery. Oh, that, that's best in slot for a. Um, it has Life Tap as well. That's actually best one of the best in slot items for. Well, it is best in slot for um, Necromancers. That's pretty cool. So that's going to go straight in the bank. Um, if I ever make a Necromancer and I don't do it self found, we've got. At least we've got that. That's pretty cool. I don't know whether it's worth uh, killing him a few times, see if he drops any other good items. Annoyingly, I keep getting cursed. Uh, but we're going to go back in. 
Uh, hopefully clear out all the mobs. Hopefully my mercenary doesn't get one shot again. Have upgraded my mercenary's arm, but you need something better than twitch rope. I think there is. I think I do have something better in my mule, but I can't mule things across. So, because uh, this is a self-found. So all, all these normal mobs will die pretty quickly, so I'm not too worried about these. It's just the elites and champions I keep coming up against. Let's see what this drops. Let's take out his maggot first. Uh, what are you going to give us? An ist room. Uh, I guess that's okay. I've already got an ist room. Don't really need them at, at the moment. But I'll take it. So this is now the third seal. I did the first seal of the ghosts. So that wasn't too bad. Now let's see how okay, this seal's okay actually. They're not lightning immune. Uh, there is obviously a chance they can be lightning immune. But they weren't. So that wasn't too bad. Um, I'm going to call in the Valkyrie, go take out the last of the two seals, and then we'll be fighting Diablo. And this should be the spawn of the Pit Lords, or Venom Lords, whatever they're called in this act. Uh, okay, they didn't spawn in that one, they'll spawn in this one, they're going to spawn back here. So, it should relatively... Okay, they are all melting. They're <laughs> down already, awesome. Uh, pick up the full rejuvenation potion, bone shield, and I think we're ready just to take on Bao. Uh, let's change this to weaken or lower resistance. And when he respawns, there he is. Let's lower his resistance. I'm not sure whether I can. So I know in Nightmare that la that lightning doesn't hit you, but no, it doesn't actually matter anyway. Awesome. Um, so you, you can pick some of this stuff up, I guess. Executioner's sword. Actually, there's not much room for all this stuff. But that is Diablo Dumb. Uh, we're now going to go into Act 5. We're going to farm a bit of Eldritch, as we always do. Just to get a few more levels. I want to have a nice, safe, smooth transition through Act 5. So we're going to farm Eldritch. Probably jump back in just before we go into the, um, the Halls of Pain. Because Pindle Skin might be a little bit tough. Because he probably would be able to one-shot me if he gets a hit on me. And then you've got the Necromancer, which might be tough because he's got all the corpse explosions. And obviously you've got Bow himself. So we've got a few bosses to jump in on here. But, of course, we're just going to make our way to the first uh, farming spot just to get some more experience. They might drop some runes, might drop some charms. As we're in Act 5 now, we have a chance for every um, rune to drop, even to Zod. So, you never know. Anything could drop. Um, we do need a few runes. But if something drops, it drops. If it doesn't drop, it doesn't drop. We should be able to take Bow out with this gear. Um, as long as we level up a few more times, get a bit more HP. Maybe a bit more um, dexterity, so we have 72% block. That'd be ideal. Just got a... I won't be using this, but I just got my first piece of Mortal Kings. I dropped off of Eldritch. Uh, quite quite a relatively rare drop. So I'll take another... or well, my first piece of IM's gear is a good set. Maybe I'll make a, a warrior one day or a barbarian one day. And that'd be pretty cool. And we are now finishing up on the Frozen River quest. So we're going to help Anya out. Get her out of this frozen tomb. This will give us maximum resistances. Why has my fire gone down? Should have given us maximum resistance. Nope. I need a charm to finish my maximum resistances. That's fine. I need one fire charm. That's all I need. There. So we can use this. Boom. There we go. Uh, so we decided to carry on the main uh, the story. Just to unlock Pindle Skin. We're going to farm a load of Pindle Skin. Uh, not really for experience, just for potential drops. Uh, that's rubbish. Yeah, it's not particularly good. But so we're gonna just farm a load of Pindle skins. We're gonna do a quick run now and see how well we can uh, take them out. We are on difficulty one, so fingers crossed this is not too difficult. But I don't really want to get wrecked because there's obviously a load of mobs oh, that spawn here as well. And uh, let's see. The yeah, large charm dropped. Okay, this time around he's immune to lightning. Um, so we're going to save an exit, give us another go. If he's immune to lightning, he's not always immune to lightning. Uh, sometimes he is, sometimes he isn't. So whenever he is, I'll leave. At least I don't think he's always immune to lightning. I could always, obviously, um, use my lower resistance wand, but I'd rather not take the risk. Let's jump straight back in. These are the issue down here. They could be quite tough to kill. There you go, immune to physical this time. Pinderskin's already down. 
And this, there you go. Six and trophy. I guess that'll do. So we're going to farm this until we find maybe some good loot. Uh, we've done a, a bit of farming. Not as much as I wanted to. Uh, we are only level set, uh, 84. Uh, we're going to go take our Nilfak. And take our Nilfak. So you have to be careful here because these can slap pretty hard. Um, they can almost two shot me. So I do need to be really careful fighting these guys. But now we're in the halls of anguish, into the halls of pain, into the halls of vaunt. We should be okay. Um, as long as we keep some distance from them. We're going to go to hopefully find Nilifak. Uh, take Nilifak out and then continue through to the ancients. There's lots of lightning immunes in here actually. Uh, this is not ideal. <laughs> That's not the uh, best map to have with the amount of lightning immunes. Because obviously when you reset, the mobs are going to reset as well. So there's a set predetermined amount of mobs or what type of mobs can spawn in each zone. So I got really unlucky there with um, two sets of lightning immunes. So hopefully we can go again and not find two sets of lightning immunes. So we found the Elefak, uh first attempt on... So there's obviously one of four different routes we can go down. So hopefully we can stay down the middle. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That corpse explosion was pretty hefty. So that's what I'm worried about, corpse explosions. Let's run away. Uh, quickly heal up. <laughs> Grab potions again, and yeah, those corpse explosions are just so deadly. Yeah, but once we take out the fact, <laughs> we, we don't have to worry about corpse explosions ever again. Uh, let's uh, go grab some more potions. Uh, I know I've got two in my inventory, but they're my just-in-case potions. Uh, let's heal up. We'll repair my javelins. And shape back into it. So let's hope. So it's just throw a load of these. I nearly fact you are going to be spammed if... There we go. He wasn't going to risk that. Um, he did a lot of damage with his corpse explosion. I need to remember... This is the first time I've ever fought him on hell. So I need to remember that corpse explosion, big bad. You need to be very careful of those going forward in the future. So what are we going to next? We're going to head straight down Ancient's Way and hopefully take on the Ancients next. So this is a set I've never seen. So we, we were now in Ancient's Way, so we're making our way towards the Ancient. Never seen this weapon before. Uh, Sazabe, uh, Sazabe's Cobalt's Redeemer. Quite an interesting sword. Here's a sword, yeah, here's a sword, yeah. I've never seen this set, never seen this weapon before. So this is something new. Um, obviously, I never got this far in Hardcore, or got this far in Hell, to be quite honest. Uh, so this is pretty new to what we've got. Uh, I'm going to sit you in here. So we've got Windmall, and we've got this as well. So this is going to be added on to my uh, Holy Grail. Here we are. The final oh, test oh, before we try and take on Bao. Did get this wrist sword here. It's unique. Don't know what that could be. I don't know any of the unique uh, weapons for assassins. So I don't really think we can prepare much for this other than just giving this a go. So what have they got? So you are stone skin extremely strong. You are immune to lightning. And Madawick, uh, call it. Okay. So we might have to move around a little bit here. So let's start throwing some. Let's try and keep my mercenary alive. That's, that's the first one. Never mind. Mercenary died almost instantly. Uh, I am cursed. Not ideal. We may have to do a lot of running around here. Uh, granted that I can get my. Uh, what's it called? The. Ah, uh, my. Valkyrie out. So it's going to be a bit of an issue because one of the mobs... Oh, no, 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 no. I got stuck there. One of the mobs is lightning immune. So you may have to quickly re-roll this. Because if you were wondering, that um, unique was a Jade Talon. Quite interesting. Didn't know that was even in the game. So here we go. Attempt number two. Um... So I have to keep my he's immune to lightning. Uh, okay, my back is already down. Immune to lightning. So we've got two immune to lightnings. So that's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Two immune to lightnings. It, we're not going to be able to take that out. Uh, so we need to ideally find one where there's even no immune to lightnings. Or if they do have an immune, it's only one. Just waiting for my mercenary to heal up. Yeah, right, that should be fine. So you're not immune. You're okay. So we've got one of the three immune. That's okay. If we can just keep running. 
help, hope that my Valkyrie... Okay, Valkyrie's tanking him. Good. I don't think we can probably tank one of these one-on-one. -on -one. We, we probably do have quite a high block chance to summon a new Valkyrie. Uh, can we tank Korik with his jumps? I don't think we can. Just keep running. Okay, can we tank... Okay, we, we can take a hit. Oh, wow. He's fast. Real fast. I just need my mercenary to try and tank one of them. So I won't be able to tank all of them, that's for sure. Right, let's try and resist. Okay, he's got low resist, Korik. Can't take him while... Uh, okay, my... Annoyingly, my mercenary just died there. But however, Korik has got low resistance on him. Oh, can we tank you? Okay, this, this might actually be doable. Right, bring in my Valkyrie again. See if I can resist all of them. Okay, Valkyrie again. And Korik, this is one down. Awesome. Right. <laughs> this is this is quite difficult to be quite honest. Okay, we can't tank all of them, that's for sure. Right, let's bring my another Valkyrie in. Hoo -hoo, that was close. Right, low resistance of you. Low resistance of you. Can I just tank Talik here? Okay, I almost tank Talik. I have I did stock up my inventory with a load of pots. Okay, Talik's down. So now it's just Madawick. Okay, he's got another low resistance. He is extra strong, so we do need to be really careful here. I have got my finger on my uh, pot as well. And while we wait, let's put some more of these into my inventory. It's fine. Oh, my heart's absolutely racing at the moment. All right, lower resistance again. And then let's see if we can just jab him. Be really careful with his thrown ability. I'd rather use my mana potions before I use my full rejuvenation potions. Okay, he's, there he goes. He's up. Uh, low resistances again. And we go in, bonk him again. Use another pot just in case. Right, another Valkyrie. So this is this is going to take a bit. Oh, took a lot of damage there. Right, let's just try and keep away from him. Use my healing pots. Run away here for a second. Okay, he's got. Right. Let's try and keep my mana up. Because um, when I take a so, certain amount of damage, it goes straight to my mana rather than to me. Okay, he did teleport away there. Give us a little bit of a respite. We are running quite low on potions. So this is this may be it. This may be the make or break here. Um, so we've got four more potions to take out this last bit of HP up here. Let's do another low resistances. Summon another Valkyrie. Come on, we've almost got this. A few more bonks. A few more bonks. Yes. Oh. Right. One more boss to go. And you finish this on hell. Hardcore. Let's do this. We've got this. And here we are. Managed to make it to the throne of destruction. Um, so I can't remember who I can't kill. There's one of these I won't be able to kill. I can't remember who that is. Let's grab all these potions. Just in case. Um, so we are going to have a TP back here. It's my last town portal. So... Well, I need to remember to pick up a new one. I think it might be this way we can't kill. 
No, no, okay, we can kill this wave. Okay, that's fine. Um, we'll take that. Um, full rejuvenation potion. Yeah, that's always useful. Grab a mana potion. I want to go revive my mercenary. Uh, we're going back through, so it's going straight back to the Act 3. Well, let's try and keep my distance from these. Okay, so the normal council members are fine. It's just going to be uh, this one that's lightning. Um, is it lightning immune? Yes, he is lightning immune. Back just to bloody. I can probably just lure him away. There you go. Yeah, I've lured him far enough away that the next wave's going to spawn. I think he might chase us, though. That's the only issue. So let's see. It's... We can, in theory, do damage to him. So let's go back and actually quickly grab our mercenary. I'd rather take him out than risk him popping up and attacking us while we're fighting the pit lords. Um, so yeah, we quickly we quickly eliminate him, then we get on yes. to the next wave. So he's down. Uh, so we the next wave is obviously the Venom Lords or Pit Lords, whatever you want to call them, from Act Four. So it's the de uh, big demons. So let's get ready for this. Right, let's start spamming these. They're going to spawn any second now. There they are. Really fast. Uh, really fast, but okay, they died really quickly. Let's make sure my mercenary doesn't perish. Let's, I can always get close and just jab them a few times. There we go. Awesome. Final wave. Final wave. All this. This should level me up to level 85 as well. Small charms. Oh, let's, let's care about the charms later. Right, let's spam as many of these as possible. Prepared to heal up my mercenary. List is down. Minions of destruction all down. Amazing. Absolutely destroyed them. So we're going to very quickly sort my life out and we'll get ready to take on Bao. So, Mr. Bao, here we come. So, we've got our wand of low resistance. We're going to spam him with the wand of low resistance and then go and stab him with our javelins. Hope for the best. Here we are. It's now to kill Bao. You do have to be careful here, of course. Uh, we will drop a portal just in case. Oh, okay. They do a lot of damage. No, nope. just change weapon. For some reason, he just stayed on that. Uh, right, to take out all his appendages there, should do a fair bit of damage. Didn't expect him to do that much. And Bao. Right, spam my javelins once the appendages appear. Right, right. The low resistance has come off him, so I need to be careful when I um, low resistance him because I don't have my shield. I don't think I have my helmet either. Let's back out from this. He's almost down. Lower his resistances again. We should just be able to bonk him down. That's it. It's over. It's over. You have no idea how it's that. It's over. We did it. Hardcore hell. The first time ever is now complete. This is the start of the journey. Because <laughs> although hardcore hell is now complete, we still have to do hardcore ubers. And hardcore ubers, for us to get to that point, we need to do a lot of farming, a lot of um, a lot of leveling. Well, I say a lot of leveling. We got at least. 15 more levels to go. Let's end this cutscene here. And there it is. Congratulations. Rothzon will henceforth be known as Guardian Rothmazon. Amazing. That's that over. We can just see all of the parish characters we've had. Druids, sorceresses, sorceresses, barbarian. I haven't played very many barbarians. One of our druids, Amazons, another paladin, another sorceress. Another druid, another Amazon, another well, an assassin, another paladin, and here we are. Rothazon. Rothmerzon, I should say. So this has ended this. Obviously, we now need to work on Ubers. For us to go to Ubers, we will need to do a lot of farming. Uh, because there is a lot of gear we need. So I don't know when my next video is going to come out. Because we have to just farm. Uh, we have to get as many... We have to get as many good items as possible. So we need to at least get Griffin's Eye. We want to ideally get T-Strokes. We need to get Enigma. We need to get um, 
better gloves that give us uh, two two javelin skills and then enhanced attack speed. We need to get a new. Um, ideally, we want storm guild here. We want boots. These boots are actually okay. Um, we ideally want to get raven frost on the rings. So we've got a lot we need to do, and I don't know how long it's going to take. Now we've ended the game. Fine. We're probably going to be farming a lot of cows. Because uh, the main thing we need at the moment is infinity. If we get infinity and Griffin's eye as a helmet, we'll be really, we'll be in a really good place. So we're probably going to farm as many cows as possible because they have a chance to drop runes, rune bases. They've got a chance to drop a lot, and realistically, they're actually quite easy to kill in comparison to everything else. So that is actually going to conclude this week's video of Zero to Ubers. So hell is now done. We now need to farm a load of gear. So that will be next week's video of what gear we need and how well we're going to be able to do to get that gear. So fingers crossed we can get the gear relatively quickly so we can go and take on the Ubers. So hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. Peace out.